hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Like you swallow spit Or get a hole in your head from a hollow tip 100% I ain't got a roll Nothing flexible about me, I don't know how to fold You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you You know who I be, follow me on IG Yeah, 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 so let's get right to it, man Briz Rothstein, shout out to Briz Rothstein And everything that he's got going on personally and professionally I do see him inching his way back Closer and closer to battle rap uh, he's got, he hosted the, the Tay Rocks event, uh, he's been talking a little bit more, and he actually has some very, very, very choice words for Murder Moot, which I will play. Shout out to my dog, Duke the Goat, I ain't gonna lie, he saw the Briz live, and he felt like it was interesting, he shot it over to me. Yo, y'all see shit? I be having to work, I, be, I got kids, I got all this shit going on. Y'all see something? Send it through, send it through. Rice Gang is the crew, nigga, yeah, yeah, boop, 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 blue blicky. Yeah, send it through to me, I'ma talk about it, don't you even worry about it. Uh, he was talking about a lot of things. He said that, uh, you know, Murder Mook was on some chatty patty shit. You know what I'm saying? He's out there talking about the business and put, I'm a, it's going to be played at the end. And then I also saw another clip that Briz said that he was supposed to be battling against somebody who was talking crazy about the URL. So I called him back and they said that we wasn't probably going to go that direction. So it's looking like him and Sean was supposed to battle too. But Briz is all this supposed to, supposed to, supposed to, supposed to. Like, is he battling or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, is he going? Is the nigga ever going to battle again or not? It's been four years, and I think it's been four years. Bitch has been pregnant, and that kid's about to go to school next year. Four years, that's a whole gap. You know how long the gap is between when the baby's born and when they go to school? Like, diapers you gotta change, daycare you gotta pay, uh, Similac you gotta buy infant Nigga, that's a long motherfucking time. If he gonna come back, we like to see him back, but all of the extra, uh, extra, all the extra sauce on it, man. We don't need extra sauce, no extra toppings, man. This is being drug out way more than it needs to be. Yeah, Murder Mook was talking crazy the other day. Yeah, he dropped a bar on you, or whatever the case may be. And I hear that because all oh, the bloggers, this, the bloggers, that we're gonna talk about it because people are gonna watch it. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that we're not fans? We're entertained by the sport. We watch the sport. We talk about the sport. Sports Center comes on every single day. Fox FS1 comes on every single day. Most of us that blog don't even blog every single day. I don't blog every day. I blog. I try to put something out for y'all every day, but just don't be having the time sometimes. You know what I mean? And then some of the subjects be so watered down. It's like I'm not gonna talk the same shit every fucking day. But uh. Like I said, Briz did have some very colorful and choice words for Murder Mook about, you know, the way he's moving and shit like that. Uh, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, would I like to see him back again? Of course I would like to see Briz back again. Uh, Murder Mook battle, if it happens, it happens. But to me, that ship is pretty much sailed. Like, you kind of know where Mook is going to go with this one. He kind of, like, let the cat out the bag and told everybody what he was going to say. and said, I got Briz Rostin. He basically said that he had him on the, on the stream with King Lowe's. Or whatever the case may be. But y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying? Jump in the comments. Uh, salute to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let's make this short so we ain't got to take it to court. You know who I be. Follow me, gang! Really, I want to say this. I feel bad for Murder Mook. I really do, because, like, he get high. He email like, and I'm doing. I'm going to do this in the best of manners, because it's not to tear the brother down, because I want better for the brother. He get drunk. He get under the influence of Molly and all them other drugs that they into, and then they turn on their phone and they start talking. And you on the you on the live with a guy like King Los, who in Mook mind he got King Los over him. So what they really are is like a high level of clout chasers, dick riders. So he feel like King Los is somebody with whom you would disclose some kind of information to him. But see, to me, King Los ain't that to me. Only time I met King Lewis is when King Lewis was watching me in amazement battle Rum Nitty. And he gave me big praise afterwards. I would never be on the phone with King Lewis feeling p propelled to like tell him anything with the groupie out for this boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel bad for the brother, man. He does that. It ain't nothing worse. It is a couple things worse. But what's really, what's really a bad thing is like when you famous. But you go into groupie mode for niggas that's more famous than you. And you do that. 
you leak that Drake conversation. You go in the you go in the groupie mode. Tighten up, man. I want better for the brother. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all out here who who hold his nuts up and exalting a lot of you block, let him know, man. That's something becoming. You keep doing things like this. Keep your mouth shut. It's not just him. It's a few of y'all. Stop jumping in the public with the business. You understand? Stop jumping in the public with the business. There's a certain line a man don't cross business-wise when it comes to, like, public and media and shit. And you niggas cross it all the time. <laughs> Respectfully, man. So, if you wouldn't mind, tighten up, all right? Tighten up. Real rap. Niggas is groupie out. I hate to see a famous nigga groupie out for another nigga more famous than him, man. Let's have a conversation, Bridget. I don't want to speak to you, brother. I don't want to speak to you, brother. You you can stay in my comments, man. That's where you, that's that's the extent of your convo with me. Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of this. It's, it's, it's a little trouble in paradise. I see. But yeah, man, cut, cut that, cut that out, man. Cut that out. Anyway, next topic. Respectfully. It's 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 time. It's time. We gotta start checking our own. We got to start checking our own because his folks ain't going to check it. You ain't going to tell him. You ain't going to tell him that that was corny. You ain't going to tell him that that's unbecoming as a man. You ain't going to get in his comments and say that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna jump in mines? Get your ass, niggas. Yeah, man. Beasley, call me, man. I actually think he called me last. I gotta, I gotta call him back. You ain't gonna do. J. Ron, what up? Morning going good, man. Fresh off a little mile and a half, run. Probably a little more. It's hot out there, though. I got in that battle. Let me see. I forgot. I forgot they battling. Hmm. Business is business. I'm gonna get up off of here, man. I'm gonna get up off of here. Truth is a man goblet. That's how you feel about the brother. And that's how you feel about the brother, man. Battle of Truth then said plenty, plenty, plenty terrible, terrible things about me and my deceased folks, but still we want nothing but the best for Battle Truth. And all the other vultures of this culture. Who've nothing to offer. 
and everything to take. Still smiling at you niggas. You went back and forth with me all morning in the comments while we can't have a conversation now. You sound like my girl. That's number one. Number two, I told you the comments is the extent of the conversation. That means it don't go no further than that. Don't embarrass yourself up here asking me and begging me to come on my live. Pause. Just be alright with me telling you no. Ask another question. Feel what I'm saying? Squeako. This how I'm, this this how I'm carrying it, Squeako. Yeah, you know I'm saying from that wall. Wait, wait till the glass. Wait till wait till I got the Malcolms on. Wait till I get my Malcolms. Oh yeah, the Malcolms coming. Mm hmm. Oh, you talk to me all morning in the comments. Why you don't want to talk to me now? What? Like what? 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 I hate the circus. T Top, what up? I really hate the circus. I'm getting off of here. I'm about to go to Wawa and I'm going to get a frozen coffee about this big. That's the table. So, about this big. You feel me? It's going to have caramel in it. All at the top. A little oat milk. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. If you design your own koofy, that'll be hard. Nah, like 19 key. Nah, nah, I ain't going to design my own koofy. Like you swallow spit. Or get a hole in your head from my hollow tip. 100%. I ain't got a roll, nothing flexible about